When you're ready, just stand straight up and start to shake the body out, okay? Start to jiggle and wiggle like a as we always do. Okay? Shake it all out. Bounce up and down a few times. Let your arms be floppy, let your shoulders be floppy. Fantastic. And then just one more, one more proper blubber your mouth. Okay? Let all the tension melt out of you as you do that. Fantastic. And then when you're ready, find your way to lie down. Okay? So those of you with bricks, you can bring your bricks into T position at the back of the mat. Okay? If you don't have bricks, you can just lie down on your back and have your arms maybe in cactus arm position, elbows bent at shoulder height, and the back of the hands resting on the floor. And if you're happy to bring the soles of the feet together, then bring the soles of the feet together, okay? And allow the arms to be a little bit away from you with the palms up. If it's not comfortable with the soles of the feet together and knees out wide, then find a comfortable position for your legs. And then when you feel ready, take a nice deep breath in through the nose, and sigh the breath out through the mouth. <sighs> Breathing in through the nose and sigh the breath out through the mouth again. <sighs> and one more time, nice deep breath in through the nose and sigh the breath out through the mouth. And allow the breath now to flow in and out freely and softly and watch the breath watch as it flows in watch as it flows out if you've just arrived and you want to shake the body out first please do or you can lie down and then shake as well so watch the breath and when you're ready to, then start to encourage the breath to be a little slower so that the breath in gets a little bit deeper and the breath out gets a little, gets a little bit longer. Breathing in to soft, relaxed torso. Breathing out, soften and relax a little bit more. Keep breathing deeply and fully. Okay? We're going to, today, we're just going to have a bit of fun on the mat, see what happens. I've got a class plan, I'm, but I'm not sure we ever follow my class plan, so we'll just see how we get on. Okay? But um, it's really about, my, my theme this week, I think, is very much about um, seizing the moment, grabbing the opportunities that come your way, because I... I'm lucky enough to have been invited to join a Pilates teacher training course with a really, really highly regarded teacher. Um, and at first I was kind of like, oh, I don't know, you know, should I do it, should I do it? It's never really been on my list of things to do. And then I thought, how often does someone come, around, come along and say, here you go, come on my course, it's all yours. I thought, so I'm just going to do it. I'm going to grab it and go with it and see what happens with it. Okay? So I hope that when opportunities come knocking on your door, that you go for it. Whatever it may be, grab it, run with it, see what happens. Okay? Rather than going, oh, I'm not sure, like I did. Okay? And let some, if you can lie on the bricks for a while, put your feet on the mat and roll over to one side and then come back onto your back. Okay? Caroline, you can stay on your bolster for a bit longer. Yeah, everybody else can just roll off. Okay? And then find your way lying on your back. Okay? And we're just going to remind ourselves again about how we engage the core properly. So if you can bend your knees, okay? have your feet firmly planted on the floor. Okay? And think about keeping the knees and the feet 
hip width apart, okay? with the knees pointing up towards the ceiling and the ankles underneath your knees. Okay? And we're going to bring our hands onto our lower belly. Okay? And when you breathe in, send the breath all the way down into the belly, into the pelvic floor, and allow the whole area to soften and relax. And when you breathe out, draw the pelvic floor, lower belly, lower back, as well as the ribs in towards the spine. Okay? So the pelvic floor lifts in and up, everything else drawing in towards the spine. As you breathe in, allow everything to gently relax. Allow the whole torso to expand in all directions. So the belly rises, the front ribs lift up, but also the back body press into the mat. As you breathe out, lift the pelvic floor, draw the lower belly in and up, and the lower back in and up, and allow the ribs to move in towards the spine. Okay. And then we're going to keep one hand on our lower belly. We're going to bring the other hand to our rib cage. Okay. And you're going to make sure that you're at least have, you've got your thumb around the back of the ribs. Okay. So your fingers on the sides and your thumb on the back of the ribs, the other hand resting onto your tummy. Okay. As you breathe in, feel the belly, the ribs expanding out. Okay. And when you breathe out, draw everything in towards the spine, the belly, the lower back, the pelvic floor, the ribs. Now, as you breathe in, send the breath into the upper body, into the upper chest, upper back, into the ribs, but keep the belly drawing slightly inwards. And then breathing out, hug everything in again. Okay. Breathing in, allow the ribs to expand. But see if you can keep the lower belly slightly engaged. And then again, breathing um, in, sorry, breathing out, hug everything in, and then let that go for a moment. So that breath where we don't let go of the belly is what we use when, do, when we're doing arm balancing, for example. When we, when we need to protect our spine in a back bend, for example, you want to keep that area engaged. Otherwise, just let the belly relax, let the pelvic floor relax when we're resting in particular. So let's do a big full body stretch, reaching the arms and the legs away from each other, and get nice and long, stretch the whole body out. Okay. And then reach your right side a bit longer, and then your left side a bit longer, and keep that going side to side. Rachel, if you're struggling to hear, you might need to go out and come back in. And then when you're ready, when you've done both sides, and draw the lower belly and pelvic floor in and up and draw your knees up into your chest. Wrap your arms across your legs, gently rocking side to side. And then do your hip circles, moving the knees away from each other and circling them back together, rolling your shoulders back and down a few times as you do that. And then in the opposite direction. Wonderful. And then inhale the arms and the legs up towards the ceiling and rotate your wrists and ankles. And the other way. Fabulous. And then let's just put our left foot on the mat. Place our right outer ankle onto our left thigh. Okay? And flex that right foot. Drop the right knee a little bit away from you. And as you breathe out next time, lift your left foot off the mat. Hold on to the back of the left thigh or the front of the left shin, whatever works for you. Okay? And hug the left leg in a little closer to you as you nudge the right knee away. And gently rock it out side to side. Fabulous. And then from here, just a little bit of core work, holding on to your right foot with your left hand and hold on to your right knee with your right hand. Extend your left leg forward and let it hover above the floor. Okay? Caroline, just stay rocking the hips. Okay? And then as you breathe out, lift the muscles of the pelvic floor, lower belly, lower back, ribs, 
in towards the spine, head and shoulders off the floor. Keep the belly slightly engaged, breathe into the chest and the upper back and the ribs and breathe out, lift the pelvic floor, draw the belly in again. Breathe into the ribs, the chest and the upper back. Breathe out from the pelvic floor, lower belly, lower back. One more time. And then take a breath in. And as you exhale, release your head back down. Okay? Lower your right foot down. Place your left outer ankle onto your right thigh. Flex the foot. Okay? And when you're ready to breathe out, bring the right foot off the floor, holding on to the front of the shin or the back of the thigh. Okay? Draw that right knee in a little closer as you nudge your left knee away and gently rock it out side to side. And again, we're just going to do that little bit of core exercise. So hold your left foot with your right hand, hold your left knee with your left hand, okay? and keep the leg in towards your chest as you extend your right leg forward and let it hover above the floor, foot engaged. And when you're ready to breathe out, draw the pelvic floor, lower belly in and up, lift your head and shoulders off the floor. Keep the belly drawing in a little bit. Breathe into the chest and the upper back and the ribs. Breathing out, pelvic floor, lower belly, lower back, in and up. Breathing in, keep the belly engaged. Breathing out again here. And then as you breathe in, keep the belly engaged, ribs expand. One more breath out. And then inhale here. And exhale, lower down. Lower your right foot. Lower your left foot just for a moment, okay? Taking the knees nice and wide, arms out to the side, okay? Knees and feet wide. As you exhale, drop the knees towards the right side of the mat. Inhale, tuck the tailbone under. Exhale, roll over to the left. Inhale there. Exhale, over to the right again. Inhale, tuck the tailbone ever so gently, slightly. Exhale, over to the left. And inhale, slide the tailbone a little forward. And one more time to the right. And one more time to the left when you're ready to breathe out. And then coming back up to centre on your next out breath, bring the knees back up towards your chest. Okay? When you're going to reach your hands to find your angle, soles of the feet together. Okay? And let the knees drop out wide and gently rock side to side. And then we're going to inhale, extend one leg out to the side. Okay? Flex the foot. And then bring the foot back into the center. And the next time you breathe in, drop the other foot out to the side. And then bring the soles of the feet together again at the center. And then when you're ready, take a nice deep breath in here. As you exhale, draw the pelvic floor, lower belly in and up. Open your legs up, lift your head and shoulders off the floor. Caroline, just stay there, rocking gently with the legs out wide if you wish. Okay? But Everybody else, interlace your fingers out in front of you and leave your first fingers pointing forward in Charlie's Angels Mudra. Okay? Flex the feet and then start to breathe out, engage all the muscles of the pelvic ball and pulse up and down a few times. And then you're going to hold it and curl up, 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 up. And then exhale, release, hug the knees into the chest, rocking gently side to side here. And we're going to rock up and down the spine a few times as we're trying to jump up to sit. And the next time you come up, let your feet hover above the floor for a moment. Keep your inner thighs hugging in towards each other. And remembering that breath, where when we breathe out, now we're going to hug the muscles of the pelvic ball and also the ribs in towards the spine. Okay? And when you breathe in, breathe into the chest and the upper back. Have your lower belly slightly engaged. 
and then relax down, relax the pelvic floor as well now in the lower belly. And let's, um, oh, no, not coming anywhere. Sit on, sit on your bum still with the knees bent, okay? And we're just going to cat cow here, I'll turn this way, okay? So if knees bent, knees wide, feet wide, holding on to the back of the knees, the back of the thighs. As you breathe in, dive forward and lift the chest. As you breathe out, draw the belly in and round the spine. Okay? Inhale and dive and lift. Exhale and round the spine. Inhale, dive and lift again. And exhale, draw the belly lower back in, rounding the spine. One more time. Inhale, dive, lift the chest, shoulder blades towards the spine. And then exhale, rounding the spine. And then coming back to centre, we're going to do a bit of core work sitting here as well. So if you want to grab your brick, grab your brick. If you don't need the brick, you don't have to. Caroline, you can't use the brick because you're going to do one leg at a time. Yeah? Everybody else, you just hug your inner thighs in towards each other with or without brick, your choice, right? Inhale, reach your arms forward. Exhale, squeeze your inner thighs, lean back, float the feet up. Inhale, lean forward, reach your hands. Exhale, squeeze and lean back. Inhale, reach. Exhale, squeeze, lean back, float the feet up. Inhale, exhale. As we breathe in, because we're releasing everything, you can feel free to relax the belly and the pelvic floor. As we breathe out, hug them all in. Okay? Breathing in, reach. Breathing out, squeeze, hug the ribs in, squeeze your inner thighs. Breathing in, reach. Breathing out, hugging in, squeeze. One more. And we're going to hold this one. So hug the legs in. Drop. Push down through your sit bones, lengthen the spine. Maybe gently waving it out side to side. Yeah, and then lower that down. And now we're going to come onto our hands and knees. Okay. So have your shoulders, elbows and wrists in alignment, knees underneath the hips. Okay. And then think about not just allowing the lower back to sink, press your shin bones into the mat. Draw the belly in and have your neck long. So the front and the back of the neck are equal length. Okay? And then from here, as you breathe in, slide the chest forward. Look up. As you breathe out, hug the muscles of the pelvic ball in and round the spine. Okay? Inhale, keep the belly slightly engaged. Slide the chest forward, look up. Exhale, draw the belly in more around the spine, peel bone under. One more, keep the belly slightly engaged. Inhale, slide the chest forward. Exhale and round the spine. Beautiful, and now wriggle your spine in all directions. Feel free to allow the pelvic floor to relax every now and then while we're wriggling. Okay, we're not doing anything strenuous. Fabulous. And now we're going to go up into downward dog. So take your hands a tiny bit in front of your shoulders, tuck the toes under, and as you breathe out, draw the pelvic floor lower belly in and lift the knees up, send your bottom back and up, and walk your dog out. Fantastic. And we're going to wave between dark and plank. Caroline, feel free to just stay with your hands on your chair and go between dark and plank, yeah? So bending the knees a little, bending the elbows a little, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, press the thighs back, draw the belly in and wave the spine forward, coming into plank. Push out through the heels, hug the thighs in towards each other as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, drop the chin around the spine, go back into downward dog. Inhale, bend the elbows, bend the knees a little. Exhale, press the thighs back, draw the belly in and up and wave forward, coming into plank. Inhaling in your plank pose. Exhale, wave back into downward dog. One more time. Inhale, bend the elbows, bend the knees a little. Exhale, press the thighs back, way forward, coming into plank. 
inhaling in plank, and as you exhale, wave back into downward dog. And then you're going to bend the knees, bend the elbows, look forward between your hands, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, you can step or jump to the front of the mat, coming into a soft standing forward bend. And let your spine be long, but let your head be relaxed and nod your head, yes. And shake your head, no. Lovely. And then use your next out breath, ground through the feet and roll the spine out. I can't talk. And inhale the arms up when you get up to the top and exhaling the hands down to the heart. Wonderful. Okay. If you feel like you need to rotate the wrists out a few times, please do. I'm just going to open my window because it's really hot in here again. Lovely. So if you use bricks, have them at the front of the mat. Okay. If you don't use them, don't worry about them. And let's start nice and tall at the front of the mat. Feet are a comfortable distance apart. Okay. And then soften the knees a little bit. And as you breathe in, push into your feet. Turn the palms up and lift your arms up. As you breathe out, soften the knees and fold forward into a standing forward bend. Hands onto your thighs, draw the belly in as you inhale, wave the heart forward, coming up halfway. Exhale, take your hands down and step or jump back into downward dog. Bend the elbows a little, bend the knees a little, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, press your thighs back, way forward, coming into plank, inhaling in plank. And as you exhale, lower chaturanga or knees, chest, chin. Inhaling, lifting up into cobra or upward dog. And as you exhale, draw the belly in and wave the spine back into downward dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up, keep the hips squared. As you exhale, draw the right knee to your nose and bring your shoulders forward, push the earth away with your hands. Inhale, take your right leg back up behind you again. And as you exhale, bring the knee towards your nose again. Inhale and take it back one more time. Exhale, knee to nose, hold it there, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, step your right foot forward, lower your left knee to the floor. Okay. Hug your thighs in towards each other and use your next out breath to roll the spine all the way up. Inhale, the arms up. As you exhale, hug the front foot back, knee towards each other, draw your hands by your hips. Inhale, float the arms up again. Exhale, hug the inner thighs towards each other, draw your hands by your hips. Inhale and reach up. Exhale, hug into the center. One more. Inhale, lift up. And as you exhale, hug everything into the midline. Beautiful. Inhale, take the arms up. As you exhale, bring your hands down to the inside of your right leg and wiggle your right foot out to the right a little bit more. Okay? Now, for Caroline, this is enough. Don't go any further. Other people, if you feel like you want to bring your forearms down with your elbows in line with your heels, go ahead and do that. If that doesn't work for you, you can also walk your hands forward and then bend the elbows a little or a lot. Okay? And those of you who are comfortable enough with your elbows on the floor, you might want to lift your left knee up, slide the left foot out a little bit. Okay? Press out through the left heel. And then from here, just gently rock back and forth a few times. And breathe. And then when you're ready, use your out breath to lower the left knee down if it's off the floor. And as you breathe in, come back up onto your hands. Okay? And as you breathe out, we're going to step back into downward dog okay. and then from here if you want to vinyasa bend the elbows bend the knees as you breathe in as you breathe out press the thighs back wave the spine forward coming into plank inhale in your plank and as you exhale lower chaturanga or knees chest chin inhale lifting up 
into cobra or upward dog. And as you exhale, drop the chin, draw the belly up and wave back, downward dog. Okay. Inhale, lift your left leg up. As you exhale, left knee to nose, shoulders forward, hands pushing into the earth. Inhale, take your left leg back up. Exhale, again, knee to nose, push the earth away. One more. Inhale, take it up. And as you exhale, knee to nose, hold it there. Push the earth away, hug the knee in a little more. And then exhale, left leg forward, right knee down. Okay? It's so making sure that your left ankle is underneath your left knee. Hug everything into the midline. And then use your out breath to roll the spine up. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, hugging the front foot, back knee, draw your hands by your hips. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale again, front foot, back knee, hugging in. One more. Inhale up. Exhale, hug your thighs in towards each other. I like that. One more. Inhale up. Exhale here. Wonderful. Inhale, take the arms up. And as you exhale, I've forgotten already what we're doing. So from here, as you exhale, bring your hands down to the floor on the inside of your left foot. Okay? And walk your left foot out to the left a little bit more. Okay? And then some of you will be able to get your forearms straight down to the inside of that foot. Some of you will need to walk your hands forward and then get the forearms down or just bend the elbows. Okay? And then if you've got your forearms down, you might want to lift your right knee up and slide the right foot out behind you a little bit more. Keep the legs active. Keep that left thigh hugging in and then rock gently forwards and back a few times. Don't forget to breathe. And then exhaling next time, lower your right knee down. And as you breathe in, come back up onto your hands. As you breathe out, push into the earth. Take your left leg back to join the right, okay? And if you're not vinyasa, you can either stay in your dog or you can rest in child's pose. Otherwise, inhale, bend the elbows, bend the knees a little. Exhale, press the thighs back, wave the spine forward, coming into plank. Inhale in your plank, pushing the earth away. And exhale, shift forward, lower chaturanga. Inhaling into Cobra and exhale back into Downward Dog. Bend the elbows a little, bend the knees a little, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, you can step or jump to the front of the mat, coming into a soft standing forward bend. Inhale, draw the bend in, wave the heart forward, coming up halfway. Exhale, push into the earth and round the spine to go up, drawing the belly in. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, circle the arms back and down. And we're going to play a little bit here. So have a quick drink. It seems everyone seems to be having a problem with the internet today. Right, so stand nice and tall. Okay. I'll turn this way. So what we're going to do is we're going to wave the spine up and down a few times. Okay? So stand with your feet a comfortable distance, roughly hip width distance, right? And you all remember, if you want to measure it out, you place two fists like that between your feet, between the arches of the feet, okay? And that's how you measure it out. So interlace your fingers behind your back. Keep your knees soft. Okay? And think about the hip bone and the pubic bone pointing at the wall in front of you. You're not dropping the pubic bone down. You're not lifting the pubic bone up, yeah? And then as you breathe in, draw the shoulder blades towards the spine, ribs in, but chest lifts. As you breathe out, soften the knees and begin to fold forward, spinning the thigh bones in a little. Drawing the belly in, inhale, wave the heart forward, coming up halfway. Exhale, fold again into the forward bend. Okay. So again, push into your feet, draw the belly up, wave the heart forward as you breathe in. As you breathe out, fold over your legs again. One more time. Inhale, wave up halfway, nice long spine. 
Exhale, keeping that length in your spine, fold forward, relax your head down, maybe pressing the arms up a little bit more towards the ceiling without allowing the shoulders to drop down to your ears. And then from here, soften the knees, come up halfway as we breathe in, take your weight into your right foot, and as we breathe out, step your left leg back into lunge, stay on the balls of that left foot, Squeeze your inner thighs together and use your out breath to roll the spine all the way up. Right knee is bent, the legs are hugging in towards each other. And again, you're going to try to get your chest lifting. Okay? Inhaling here. And as you exhale, let's release the hands. Okay? Inhale, take the arms up. As you exhale, squeeze your legs together, come forward, go. <sighs> Squeezing the inner thighs together. Inhale and lift back up. I'm falling all over the place. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Inhale and lift up again. Exhale as you fold. You might want to stick your tongue out and go. <sighs> One more time. Inhale and lift up. And exhale. <sighs> oh, I'm falling over all over the place. And then from here, we're going to bring our hands down to the floor on our next out breath. Lower our left knee down again, squeeze the inner thighs together and use the out breath to roll the spine up, bringing your right hand to your right hip, okay? hug the thighs in towards each other, inhale the left arm up, as you exhale you want to lean back a little bit and then lean over to the side and really think about drawing the front foot back knee towards each other and keep the chest lifting. If you engage your left buttock, if you have that sense of like really drawing it in, engaging those muscles, hugging them in, you'll feel a stretch in the front of your left thigh. Breathe. And then from here, I'm going to turn sideways again. As you exhale, bring both hands onto your hips for a moment. In fact, right hand onto your right thigh. We're going to turn our left foot out to the right so that you come to face the long edge of your mat, okay? And then see if you can align your right heel with your left knee, okay? So, Caroline, the left foot goes back to the right. No, 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 no. The right leg is forward in the lunge, but the left foot goes back and then you're turning to face the long edge of your mat. Now, align your front foot with your back knee, okay? And then from here, let's inhale the arms to shoulder height, as you exhale, reach your right arm forward and bring the arm onto your thigh. Okay? Then roll the left shoulder back behind you and wrap your left hand behind your back. Maybe you can hold the right thigh with your left arm. Keep hugging the front foot back knee towards each other and spin the chest up and breathe here a moment. Inhale, release that left arm and come back into this half warrior two. Okay. As you exhale, cartwheel your hands back down to the floor. Spin your left foot out to the back of the mat. Take a breath in in your lunge and as you exhale, lift your left knee up and step back into downward dog. Walk your dog out a little here. And then we're going to bend the elbows, bend the knees as we breathe in. And as we breathe out, press the thighs back, way forward towards plank. And then lower the hips, press out through the heels and lift your chest up into upward dog. Inhale here, yeah. Exhale, go back up into downward dog. Okay. We're going to inhale and lift the left leg up. As you exhale, step the left foot forward okay? and we're going to lower the right knee down. I haven't forgotten that we came from the front. Okay? Hug the inner thighs in towards each other and we're going, oh no, we're going to stay on the balls of the back foot. Stay up high, keep the back knee lifted. Hug the legs in towards each other and use your out breath to roll the spine all the way up. Lovely. And then from here, okay, we're going to inhale, lift the chest, exhale and go. 
Inhale and lift the chest. Exhale and go again. Inhale, chest lifts. Exhale. And then inhale, one more time, chest lifts. Exhale. And then we're going to inhale here. As we exhale now, we're going to bring our hands down to the floor. Okay? Lower our right knee down. Okay? And hug the thighs in towards each other. Use your out breath. Roll the spine up. And you're going to bring your left hand onto your left hip. Okay? Hug the front foot back knee towards each other. Inhale the right arm up. And as you exhale, keep hugging the front foot back knee as you lift the chest up and then lean a little over to the left. Okay. And breathe. Wonderful. And then we're going to go into that half warrior two. So I'll turn sideways. What you need to do now is get that right foot out behind you to the left. So you're facing the long edge of your mat, yeah? And then have a sense of hugging the front foot back knee towards each other. Inhale the arms to shoulder height. And as you exhale, reach with that left hand and bring the left forearm onto your thigh, okay? And roll your right shoulder onto your back and wrap that right arm behind you. Draw the tailbone down towards the floor, okay? Not forward, not back, but down towards the floor and spin the chest up and breathe, relax your head down. Wonderful, and then we're going to release that right arm and inhale back into half warrior two. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down to the floor, spin your right foot to the back of the mat. Okay. Inhale here, as you exhale, lift your right knee up and step back into downward dog, walk your dog out. And then we're going to bend the elbows a little, bend the knees a little, look forward, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, step up, jump to the front of the mat, coming into standing forward bend. And then take your hands behind your back, interlace the fingers again. Draw the shoulder blades towards the spine. And as you breathe in, push into your feet, draw the belly up, wave the heart forward. As you breathe out, spin your thigh bones in a little and fold over your legs. And one more. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale and fold. And then inhale, come up halfway. Take your weight into your left foot. And you're going to step your right leg back. Ground the right heel down for warrior one. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Use your next out breath. Roll the spine all the way up into warrior one with your arms behind you. Okay. Then from here, nice deep breath in, lifting the chest up. And as you breathe out, ground through the feet, fold forward, lifting your arms up a little more. Hugging the thighs in, pushing into your feet. Inhale, lift back. And as you exhale, ground through the feet again and fold. One more time. Inhale and wave up, lifting the chest up. Lovely. Exhale and fold. Okay. And release the hands. As you breathe in, you're going to cartwheel the arms all the way up and turn your right toes a little bit, not out, but a little more open so you can come into warrior two. Okay. So lift yourself up into warrior two, adjust the feet until you're comfortable. Think about the hip bones and the pubic bone facing directly forward, not allowing the pubic bone to tilt down or up, arms at shoulder height. Okay. We're good? Fantastic. Nice deep breath in here. And as you exhale, reach forward with your left arm and bring the left hand somewhere below the left knee. Okay. Bring your right hand, not sorry, not, not the left. Bring the left forearm onto your left thigh. Right hand onto your right hip. And as you breathe out, draw the belly in, let the spine round a little bit, and then spin the chest up towards the ceiling. And then lengthen out both sideways. Okay? And we're going to inhale, take the right arm up towards the ceiling. 
As you exhale, circle it back down towards your right hip. Inhale, draw it up past the chest, lifting it up. Exhale, circle it back and down. And inhale one more time, take it up. And this time, exhale, take it all the way back behind you. Bind it behind. If you can grab hold of the left thigh, grab hold of the left thigh. Keep drawing the belly in and spinning the chest up, rolling the shoulders onto your back. Breathe. And then we're going to bring our left hand somewhere below the left knee. Okay? And see if you can keep length in the spine as you begin to work the left leg towards straight. Coming into half bound triangle pose. Breathe. And then exhaling, bending that left knee. Inhale, release your right arm up towards the ceiling. Exhale, bring your right hand down to the floor and step back into downward dog. Walk your dog out a little. Fabulous. And then from here, okay, you're going to either go through a vinyasa or stay. Okay? So if you're going through a vinyasa, inhale, bend the elbows, bend the knees. Exhale, wave forward towards plank and then inhale into up dog. And exhale all the way back up into downward dog. Fabulous. And then we're going to inhale, lift the right leg up. And exhale, step the right foot forward. Okay? And ground the left heel down for warrior one. So the left big toe pointing towards the front left corner of your mat. And you're going to squeeze your inner thighs together, roll the spine up as you breathe out. Interlace the fingers behind you, draw the shoulder blades towards the spine, inhale, lift the chest up, exhale, ground through the feet and fold, okay. inhale, press into your feet and lift the chest back up, keep the belly slightly engaged, exhale, draw the pelvic floor, lower belly, ribs in and drop your head down, inhale, push into your feet and come back and again, exhale, fold, okay. and then we're going to release the hands. Have I forgotten anything? Oh God. And we're going to release the hands, and as you breathe in, cartwheel the arms up, open out that back foot a little, coming into warrior two. Okay. So adjust, making sure that your left toes are slightly turned in, okay. and your shoulders are stacked above the hips, pubic bone and your hip bones are facing out to the long edge of your mat. Inhale here. As you exhale, reach forward with your right arm, bringing the right forearm onto your thigh, left hand onto your left hip. Allow the spine to gently round as you draw the belly in and begin to roll the chest up towards the ceiling. Lengthen both sides of your waist. Okay. And then from here, we're going to inhale the left arm up. Exhale, circle it back and down. And then draw the arm across the chest. So slide your hand up your chest all the way up to the ceiling as you breathe in. As you breathe out, take it back and down. And as you breathe in again, slide it across the chest and up towards the ceiling. Exhale back and down. And inhale, slide it across the chest and up to the ceiling. Exhale, this time take it all the way behind you. Bind it behind, maybe grabbing hold of your right thigh. If not, just press it against your back and spin the chest up. Hug the feet in towards each other. Remember here, you want to protect the spine. So as you breathe in, you don't just let the belly go. Keep a slight engagement there. And when you're ready, as we breathe out next time, right hand comes somewhere below the right knee. And you can work that right leg towards straight. Okay? Doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Keep the chest spinning up. So if your hand comes too far down and you end up rounding, slide your hand up your leg a little bit more. Breathe. And then exhaling, bending that right knee. Inhale, the left arm up. Exhale, bring the left hand down, then the right hand 
and step back into downward dog. Walk your dog out. And then let's have a quick rest in child's pose, just in case you think that I am all mean. I'm not always mean, so you can have a little rest in child's pose. And breathe. Now, when you're in child's pose, let your belly completely relax. Let your pelvic floor completely relax. In fact, breathe down into the pelvic floor. So as you breathe in, just let everything hang out. As you breathe out, the pelvic floor will dome up a little. That's cool. Lovely. Enough rest. I don't want you falling asleep on me. Okay? So come back up onto your hands and knees and take yourself all the way back and up into downward dog. Okay? I will let you have a drink in a moment, but find your way into downward dog first. Okay? And then bend the knees a little, bend the elbows a little, take a breath in as you look forward. And as you breathe out, step or jump to the front of the mat, coming into a standing forward bend. Then bend the knees a little bit more and use your next out breath. Push into your feet and come all the way up. Inhaling the arms up and exhale, circle the arms back and down. Give your body a little shake. And then feel free to have a quick drink before we carry on. So I say, have a drink, everyone's run away completely. Come back, come back. <laughs> Lovely. So what we're going to do here, okay, is we're going to do a little bit of Charlie's Angels Squat. Yeah? So have your feet forward, but feet and knees are nice and wide. Okay? So you don't really need them together like that. Just have them a comfortable distance, but keep your second toes forward, your knees forward. Okay? And then bring your arms in front of you, interlace the foot, all the fingers except for the first one, the index finger. So Charlie's Angels Mudra. Okay? And then from here, I'll turn this way. Okay? As, as you breathe in, stick the bottom back and bend the knees. Okay? As you breathe out, push into your feet, lift up a little bit. Then breathe in, sink a little bit more. Breathe out, lift a little bit. Okay? So make me sure that your knees are going straight forward as you bend and then you lift a little and then you bend a little bit more as you breathe in and then you lift a little and then you bend a bit more and you breathe in and then you lift a little and then you lower down, bring your hands down, turn your toes out and come into Malasana, into the yogic squat, okay? So Caroline, if it's uncomfortable, if it feels like too much pressure, you can sit on a cushion with your knees wide as well, okay? Just see how you feel. Elbows to the inner knees, palms pressing. Push the elbows and the knees against each other and lift your chest up. And as you breathe out, draw the pelvic floor, lower belly, lower back, in and up. As you breathe in, invite the pelvic floor, lower belly, lower back to soften and relax. Breathing out and lifting in and out. So Katia, a little more energy in your squat. Push and lift up, work it, that's it. Okay. Fantastic. Now we're going to do a little twist. So we're going to take our left shoulder to the inside of our left knee and the left hand then goes to the floor on the outside. Right hand onto our chest. Okay. And as you breathe in, lengthen the spine, spin the chest a little bit to the right and take the right arm up. Breathe. So you're twisting to the right. And when you're ready to breathe out, you're going to come back to center, take a nice deep breath in, and then exhale, slide your right shoulder to the inside of the right knee, right hand down. Left hand onto your heart, just to remind you to lengthen, and then you twist and float that left arm up, and breathe. And then when you're ready, exhale, release back to center, take a nice deep breath in, and then just for a moment, sit down so I can show you what we're doing, okay? So once you 
sit down. What we're going to do is we're going to take our left shoulder to the inside again, lift our bum a little bit and take the left hand back behind us. So the left hand really goes towards your left hip, okay? And then you're going to take your right arm, bind it behind and maybe sink the hips a little and spin the chest to the right, okay? If that doesn't work for you, if it feels horrible, just go back to that first one, yeah? There's no need to bind if it's not comfortable. Caroline, probably better just to do this, okay? Right, so let's come back into our squat, okay? Think about hugging the pelvic floor, lower belly, in now, slide your left shoulder to the inside of the left knee. Lift your bottom up and take that left arm underneath your leg. And then wrap your right arm behind your back. And if you can find the clasp, go ahead. If not, you might want to let it go. Okay? And then inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, spin the chest to the right. Get that right shoulder onto your back. And then exhaling, release. And let's do the other side. Nice deep breath in, lengthen the spine. As we breathe outside the right shoulder to the inside of the right knee, lift your bottom up, take your right arm back underneath your leg, left arm wraps behind your back and find the class if that works for you. And then from here, inhale, lengthen, exhale, spin your chest to the left, get the left shoulder onto your back and breathe. And then release the bind and then lower onto your bum for a moment. Oh, shake the legs out, been there a long time. Okay. So now we're going to do a little bit of core work and then we're going to do a little bit of flowing between crow and a back bend. Yeah, we're good? Okay. So let's do a little bit of core work. So sitting nice and tall, okay? So Caroline, I would still just do one leg at a time, yeah? Sitting nice and tall, hug your inner thighs towards each other, lift the chest, okay? and remember the pelvic floor, lower belly, lower back and ribs in as you breathe out, and keep the belly engaged as you breathe in, okay? So as you breathe out, float the feet up, curl the toes towards your face, hug the inner thighs, okay? Inhale, reach the arms forward, exhale, make a fist and roll onto your back, Keep your head and shoulders off the floor. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, squeeze your inner thighs together. Draw the belly and lift up. Inhale, reach your arms forward. Exhale, squeeze and roll onto your back. Inhale, lift the arms and the legs up. Exhale, squeeze and draw back up. Inhale, arms reaching forward. Exhale, roll. Inhale, reach up. Exhale and come back up. One more. Inhale, reach. Exhale and roll down. Inhale, reach. Exhale and come back up. And then nice deep breath in here. As you exhale, extend the legs, extend the arms, come down halfway. Keep your legs squeezing in, smile. And then lower all the way onto your back. And we're going to do bridge, but the work. You have done this with me before where we kind of go into a half bridge, half wheel over one shoulder. So if you're not quite sure what I'm talking about and you want to have a look, I'm going to turn this way so you can see. Okay? So what we're going to do is set up for bridge and we're going to lift up on the out breath coming into bridge and then we're going to bring one hand by our ear, fingers pointing back like we're going to go into wheel and you're going to push down and roll over the other shoulder and then you come back down and you do the same thing on the other side. Does that make sense? So bend your knees, have your feet hip width apart, okay? ankles underneath the knees okay? and then you're going to first just bring your arms into robot arm position, okay? pressing into the upper arms, get the chest lifting as you breathe in and as you breathe out, lift the spine up off the mat. Okay? And now you can just relax your left hand down onto the floor and bring your right hand by your right ear. Okay? And then as you breathe in, push into that right hand and roll over your left shoulder a little bit. As you breathe out, come back to center and release all the way back down. Now we're going to go up already with our hands in place. So take your left hand by your left ear, right hand onto the floor. Okay? 
okay? And then inhale, peel, sorry, exhale, peel the spine off the mat. Push into your left hand and roll over your right shoulder. And then come back down onto the floor and take your right hand by your ear. We're going to do it all again, okay? And then as you breathe out, push down into your feet. Lift up, roll over your left shoulder. Inhale, lower back down, swap hands. Okay? And as you exhale, push into your hand, into your feet, roll over your right shoulder. And then exhale, come back down. Bring the knees up into the chest and roll all the way up into both posts, squeezing your inner thighs together and a big smile. Fabulous. And then from here, take your feet down in front of you. Okay? And we're going to see if we can rock up into crow pose this way. You can use your hands. I'm not asking you not to use your hands. You lift up. And we're going to find our way towards crow. Okay? So once you come up, find your way into malasana. Okay? And, and then bring your hands down a few inches in front of your feet. Caroline, just feel free to stay here and rock this between here and here a few times. So even rocking side to side. Okay? Everybody else. What we're going to do is we're going to find our way into crow first. So have your knees hugging your upper arms, okay? Feet a little closer together, hands about a few inches in front of your feet. Hug the elbows in and push down into your hands. Lift your bottom up and rock forward. Look a little forward. Draw the pelvic floor lower than in and lift your feet up. And just hold that for a moment. And then lower back into Malasana. Okay. And then you're going to reach your left hand back behind you, quite a long way back, not too close to your feet. Turn your toes so they face forward. Okay. And then you're going to use your in-breath. Press into your feet, engage the glutes, lift the chest up and spin your chest up towards the ceiling, maybe taking your right arm back behind you. Exhale, turn your toes out as you begin to lower back down, coming into the squat. And then slide your shoulders in between your knees, hands forward, rock forward, hug the elbows in, lift up into crow, take a breath in and out there, and then lower your heels down into squat and take your right hand back behind you, pushing down into the feet, turn the toes forward, lift your bottom up, lift your chest up, you might need to adjust the feet until you're comfortable and then slide your hand up. Fabulous. And then again, exhale, come back into your squat and then take your hands forward. One more round into crow pose. Hands down, elbows hugging in, bum up, rock forward. Okay. And then when you're ready, take a breath. And as you breathe out, lower your feet back into Malasana. Take your left hand back behind you, feet forward. And then inhale, push into your feet, into your hands, spin the chest up. As you exhale, lower back down and find your way back towards crow again. Okay. One last time. Nice deep breath in and out in your crow. Okay. And then again, lower back down when you're done and take your right hand back behind you, pushing into the feet, pushing into your right hand, draw the belly in, spin the chest up and lift your left arm up and then exhale, lower back down and just come and sit with the knees bent and give yourself a little hug, dropping the chin down, rocking gently side to side and then you might want to just rotate the wrists out a little. Fabulous. So, what we're going to do now is a little twist and then we'll do a little bit of upside down work, okay? So, let's extend the legs out in front of us. We're going to cross our right foot to the outside of our left knee, okay? And you can either stay here with the left foot active or you can bend that left knee, bringing the foot towards your bum. Have both sit bones firmly planted and wrap your left arm across your legs. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale to turn your chest to the right. Take the right hand down. Okay. 
So that left arm, you might want to slide it across and over to the outside of your right thigh a little bit. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale and twist right. And you might want to do a tiny little micro movement there. Breathe. Nice deep breath in. As you exhale, turn to all the way over to the left. Okay? So Caroline, you might have to just stay turning to the left still. Okay? Left hand behind you, right arm to the inside of that right leg. Press the hand and the leg against each other. Spin your chest to the left. Again, little tiny wriggle of the spine. And then exhale, coming back to center. And we're going to bring that right leg down in front of the mat. Lean a little to the right, shoot the left leg back. Walk our hands forward and lift up the face front so you're coming into pigeon, okay? So pigeon with the right leg leading. Caroline, if this feels too deep for the hips today, you can maybe go into that pigeon where we're lying down with one leg on top of the other, the ankle on top of the knee, okay? If you're happy enough in pigeon, we're going to come here into pigeon, okay? And we're going to wave up and down a few times, so walk your hands a little bit wide, take your weight down the center, make sure your left hip is forward, okay? And then as you breathe in, lift the chest. As you breathe out, bend the elbows and fold. Inhale, press into your back foot, lift the chest up. Exhale and fold. Inhale and wave up and exhale and fold again and then inhale coming up bringing your right hand to the center engage your left buttock and draw your left foot in towards your left hip I'll turn this way okay? and then you're going to take your left hand to find your left foot okay? if it doesn't reach you can just reach it back and relax the left foot down if you've got the foot press the foot back into your hand Spin your chest forward, breathe. When you're ready to breathe out next time, draw that left heel a little closer to your left outer hip and then spin the chest back to center. And then exhale, release the left foot. We're going to sit onto our right buttock and swing our left foot to the outside of our right knee. And if you cannot get both sit bones firmly on the floor, then extend the right leg out in front of you. Okay? Making sure that both sit bones are planted onto the earth. Wrap your right arm across your left leg. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale, spin your chest to the left and take the hand down. And some of you might find that you can get your right arm to the outside of that left leg a little bit more. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhaling, twist, little micro movement there. Nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, spin all the way to the right, right hand down behind you, left arm to the inside of the left knee, left button lifted, press the arm and the leg against each other and spin to look back towards your right hand. Again, tiny little movement of the spine. Keep breathing. And then as you breathe out next time, turn back to center and your left leg is going to be the front leg for your pigeon. So bring your left shin bone down to the floor, lean to the left, take your right leg out behind you, then bring your hands down in front of you, press and lift up so you can spin to face front. Okay? Draw your right hip a little forward and walk your hands wide and think about hugging the front foot and the back no, the front leg and the back leg towards each other. As you breathe in, draw the shoulder blades towards the spine, lift the chest. As you breathe out, bend the elbows and fold. 
Inhale and wave the heart back up. Exhale and fold. Inhale and wave back up again. Exhale and fold. And then inhale, come back up. Okay? And bring your left hand to the center. Okay? And then bend your right knee. Reach your right hand back to find the foot. If you can't find it, just reach it back. Okay? If you've got the foot, press the foot back into your hand. Spin the chest forward. And feel that stretch across the front of the right shoulder as you push the foot into your hand and you lift the chest up. And breathe. And then when you're ready to breathe out next time, draw the heel towards the button. Some of you will be able to turn so that your fingers point forward. Roll the shoulders back still and breathe. And then exhale, release. And sit onto your left hip. Bring both legs forward. What we're going to do is maybe find our way into maybe a forearm balance. Okay? Those of you who don't want to do this, you can do the dolphin with me. Okay? So it's going into the forearm balance. I want you to find your way to your wall and have a gap between your hands and the wall. So you're not just right up against it. So be a little bit away from it. Okay? And then you have your elbows under your shoulders elbows under shoulders okay and your hands are either a little bit forward or you can turn them in a little bit towards each other okay so if you're not going into the forearm balance okay what we're going to do we're going to do a half forearm balance shall we do the same thing so bring your elbows down underneath your shoulders okay palms flat and don't let your elbows wing out okay tuck your toes under and as you breathe out, move your bottom back towards your heels and everybody lift your knees up off the floor. Then we're going to start to walk our feet in a little closer to our elbows and look a little forward okay? and keep walking until you can't walk in anymore. Bend one knee, lift the other leg up, keep the hips square. Okay? And you can stay here or just have a little play with little hopping up and down. And those going into the forearm balance, you go for it. Those of you who are just practicing, once you've done a few hops on one side, lower that leg down, bend that knee and lift the other leg up and do a few hops on the other side. So think about shoulder blades hugging the spine, looking a little bit forward if you can. Beautiful. And when you've had enough, you just have to come back down and have a quick rest in child's pose. Okay. And then come on up to sit and have your knees bent okay? and then we're going, you can have your legs together or hip width apart, I don't mind. Hold on to the back of the thighs and as you breathe out, draw the belly in and we're going to slowly roll all the way down onto our back. Okay? And then from here, okay, we're going to extend our legs out. Caroline, you might just want to skip this one, have a little rest here. Okay? We're going to take our legs out, flex the feet, hug the inner thighs towards each other, and bring our arms into robot arm position. And I want you to go back to that breath where as we breathe out, we hug the ribs in, pelvic floor lifted, lower belly, lower back, in and up. And when you breathe in, you allow the chest, the ribs to expand, but the belly stays engaged. Okay? And as you breathe out next time, lift your head and shoulders off the floor, the belly stays engaged okay. and then you can either stay here or when you breathe out next time you can float the feet up, you can reach your arms out and breathe. Keep the breath into the chest and the upper back, hug your inner thighs and towards each other. And then go up and lower down. Fabulous. 
Now we're going to set ourselves up for bridge and maybe go into wheel, okay? So have your feet and your knees roughly hip width apart. Knees forward, second toes forward, ankles underneath the knees, arms in robot arm position. As you breathe in, press into the upper arms, get the chest lifting. As you breathe out, ground into your feet, curl the tailbone and peel the spine up off the mat. Okay? And then take your hands underneath you, interlace the fingers and wriggle the elbows a little closer behind you. Okay? And then from here, think about grounding down through the heels so that your buttocks are engaged and you're lifting your tailbone, sending it forward between the knees and the chest back towards your chin and breathe. Make sure you don't let the knees drop out, so ground into the big toe round as well. And then exhale, release the hands and slowly come all the way back down. Okay. And just stay here for a moment, okay. keeping that tiny little gap between your lower back and the floor. Okay. And then some of you will go back up into wheel, sorry, into bridge, but some of you might be ready to go up into wheel. If you're going into wheel, bring your hands by your ears, elbows stacked above the shoulders. Okay. If you're going into bridge and you want to play in that half bridge, you can bring one hand by your ear. Okay. Your choice. But when you feel ready, you're going to ground into the feet and into the upper arms or into your hands, depending on where you are. And use your out breath to lift all the way up. If you're going into wheel, once you've lifted up, we going to think about hugging the elbows in and really think about pushing into your hands and get the arms nice and straight, straight and toes forward, chest towards the wall in front of you. And when you're ready to come down, tuck the chin in, slowly come all the way down. Okay. We're going to take our feet a little bit wide Knock our knees in towards each other so the knees are touching at the center. Okay. Beautiful. Tessa is doing an amazing wheel pose. Wrap your arms across your chest and breathe into the back body here. Wonderful. And then release the arms out to the sides at shoulder height. Bring your feet together. Okay? And as you breathe out, draw the belly in and lift your knees up towards your chest. And then drop the knees down towards your right elbow. Keeping the left shoulder grounded. Look back towards your left hand if that feels comfortable. And breathe. Nice deep breath in and exhale, roll back onto your back. Take a breath in at the center. As you exhale, squeeze your legs together and drop the knees down towards your left elbow and look back towards your right hand, keeping the right shoulder blade down. Again, breathe. And then exhaling, coming back to center, soles of the feet together, knees wide, just like we did at the beginning of class. Reach our hands over to grab hold of the ankles and draw the feet now over your heart center. And then gently rock side to side, grounding the tailbone towards the earth, grounding the lower back into the mat and rock gently to massage the lower back. And if you want to open the feet out coming into happy baby pose, please do. Okay. Drawing the knees down as you press the heels up. And again, you can rock it out gently side to side. Tailbone reaching towards the front of the mat. Chin slightly towards your chest. Pelvic floor relaxed. Belly relaxed. And then bringing the knees back into the chest, give yourself a big cuddle. And if you want to roll to one side, and then bring yourself up 
find some warm layers and we're just going to do a little bit of breathing. So make sure you're sitting comfortably once you find yourself warm enough. Okay, so make sure you're really ready. Because after this little breath work, we're just going to lie down and relax, yeah? So you can either come to sit in easy cross, you can do half lotus, full lotus, or you can kneel. You can also sit on your brick yeah? or sit on a chair. Yeah? And we're going to bring our thumbs together at our tummy button and the rest of our fingers are touching making a triangle and we're going to rest the fingers onto our pubic bone okay? and that area below our hands that area in between the thumbs and the fingers okay? that's where we're going to focus on so roll the shoulders down your back close your eyes okay? and then just breathe just close your eyes and breathe and imagine you're drawing the breath down into that area below your beneath your hands and when you breathe out, you're breathing out from that area. Breathing in, you relax the belly, the lower back, the pelvic floor. Breathing out, you gently dome up the pelvic floor and draw the lower belly, lower back and the hip bones in towards the center. Breathing in and gently release that whole area. Breathing out and gently hugging in. This area here, in many cultures, they believe this to be our core, our center. Okay? The hara in Japanese, this is where our life force is, our prana, our chi. So focus on this area, on our core, on our truth. Connecting to our inner strength, to our courage, to the, that having the guts to go for it, to, to live your life and go for it, to grab the opportunities and make the most out of each and every one of those opportunities that come by our way. So connect into your center, into your inner strength. Trusting in our inner strength, in our truth, so we can really live our life to the fullest. And after your next out breath, just release your hands and let the breath flow in and out freely and softly. But think about relaxing the pelvic floor and the lower belly with each in breath. And with each out breath, just be natural. The pelvic floor will gently engage as you breathe out, but you don't have to hug in and squeeze or anything like that. You just let it be natural. And when you're ready to breathe out next time, gently lower your chin down to your chest. Blink the eyes open and lift up to center, maybe extending the legs out. Give them a little bit of a shake. And then find your way into Shavasana. If you're comfortable lying on your back, you lie on your back. 
If you know it's better for you to lie on your side, make sure you have a pillow for your head and have another pillow for between your thighs. If you need to bend your knees because your lower back hurts, you know, go for it. Make sure you are comfortable. And once you find yourself comfortable, we're going to stay somewhat still, but that doesn't mean that you can't adjust if you need to. So let's just breathe all the way down into the pelvic floor. Nice deep breath all the way down into soft, relaxed pelvic floor. And then sigh the breath out and imagine you're sighing the breath all the way out through the pelvic floor. And do that again twice more. Deep breath all the way down into soft, wide, relaxed pelvic floor. Breathing out, sighing the breath out as if you're sighing it out through the pelvic floor. One more time. And then just allow the breath now to flow in and out freely and softly. Let your whole body be soft and relaxed. So allow the bones in your body to drop into the support of the earth your skull, your spine, your collarbones, your shoulder blades, your breastbone, your arm bones, hands, legs, pelvis, just let all the bones drop deeply into the support of the earth. The earth is right there to take the weight of your bones, you don't need to hold them up, let them drop. Let all of your inner organs relax into the support of the earth. Again, you don't need to use your muscles to hold them up right now, just surrender. So the brain, the heart, the lungs, digestive organs, reproductive organs, just let them all melt into the support of the earth. your muscles and all of your connective tissues melt into the support of the earth. They don't need to work right now. They don't need to move the bones. They don't need to hold the bones. Just let them all drop. Let them be soft. Let them melt into the earth. And allow your skin to feel really soft and loose and gently allow the skin to just melt off into the earth as well. So your bones, your inner organs, your muscles and connective tissues, your skin, your nerves, let everything just melt into the earth so there is just you and your breath. And just become one with the breath. And relax. Relax. Relax.
and still just for a little bit longer now. Start to encourage your breath just to be a little bit deeper and a little bit longer. So breathing in a little bit more deeply and allow that out breath to be a little bit longer. There's no rush, no straining, just gently encouraging the breath to be deeper and longer. And as you breathe in a little more deeply, allow the torso to expand a little more. And as you breathe out a little more completely, let your torso soften a little bit more. Breathing in and expanding gently in all directions. Breathing out and soften into the expansion. And as the breath becomes more and more active, take a moment now to check in with yourself, see how you're feeling. And then let's take a deep breath of love and gratitude into this amazing body. And exhale with a big sigh. Deep breath of love and gratitude in for our amazing self. Exhale with another big sigh. And one more deep breath of love and gratitude in and hold the breath for a moment. Allow love and gratitude to flow to every cell of your amazing being. And then sigh love and gratitude out to all other amazing beings on earth, all beings on earth and start to make little movements like wriggling your fingers and toes and then maybe rotating the wrists and ankles a few times in one direction and a few times in the opposite direction and when you feel ready do a big full body stretch reaching the arms and the legs away from each other Get really nice and long, maybe gently wriggle, wriggle it out, stretching one side a bit more than the other a few times. And then as you breathe out next time, bring the knees up into the chest. Give yourself a big, big cuddle, rocking gently side to side. And then roll over to one side, take a breath. And bring yourself up to sit when you're ready. And we're going to end with our usual three ohms. So sit nice and tall, shoulders down your back, palms together at your heart center. And take a deep breath in. Om. Om. Thank you.